All right, what are we doing? Okay, so basically we've got two metal spheres with screws inside them, ping pong ball and a ruler. We're gonna record a collision like this. I'm going to upload the recording to Logger Pro and analyze it with the software that they have in order to do some calculations about collisions and conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy. Um, and Ryan is my assistant slash intensive physics major who is way beyond this already and will be helping me out for the purpose of this. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, video two with the ping pong ball at rest. Ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> that didn't move at all. <laughs> yeah, let's try and do it like that. Hold on. All right. Go ahead whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. This is not a uniform sphere. <laughs> no, it is not. One more time. With the ping pong ball? With the ping pong ball. A lot of force? A lot of force. That's what we like to see. That should be enough data. I'm going to go take those four videos, I think. Upload them onto Logger Pro. Do some analysis, write out a little lab report, and that's my uh, DIY for this for this week, featuring uh, future professor Brian Flynn. Did some physics today. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, guys. Very Absolutely. educational. <laughs>
right, so the time is around 9.30 p.m. Um, just finished my hour-long Korean tutoring session. I think I'm just gonna try to do some work on my stats piece set and hopefully start studying for my uh, CS quiz that is on the Wednesday. So another quiz, shouldn't be that bad. Um, and besides the quiz, nothing that much going on this week, but then next week I have some stuff to prepare for, so I should get a head start on that. All right, um, it's Tuesday morning. I'm gonna do laundry real quick. Go to breakfast, uh, take my COVID test, and then take Korean class. So on the way back, I also got a poke ball, so I'm gonna eat that later. But for now, it's time to dig into my chicken quesadilla. Oh man. As you can see, this is a high quality meal today. He goes to steak salad, this gourmet like grilled cheese, with a little bit of mustard sauce. We got some tomato soup here to dip, a little mini pickles. Um, high quality meal. Was not expecting this today, but I'm very happy about it. All right, just had lunch. Um, like Brett said, the lunch was really good today. I'm gonna take Chinese in around an hour. And then after that, I have to take a CS quiz. Will only take around an hour, so not too stressed out about that. And then after that, probably uh, more studying, unfortunately. All right, so I finished up my CS quiz. It was definitely easier than the first quiz, so I think I did well. Now we're just going to dinner. Uh, so something I haven't seen before at breakfast is this apricot pastry. Um, it looks good and I'll try it out. In addition, I got two clementine, two hard boiled eggs of course, and then oatmeal. Yay! Yep, so just eating breakfast before my Korean class while watching anime, yeah. Alright, just finished Korean class. So today I am going to focus on writing my um, script for my Chinese midterm presentation. I also want to finish my CSP set if possible. 
and then get started on the other CSP set. So I think relatively busy day ahead of me, but um, it shouldn't be that stressful because the assignments for CS are due not this week, but the week after. So yeah. So a quick update on Yale's COVID statistics. So from October 13th to the 19th, which was basically last week until this Monday, we've had an additional 19 positive cases. And I think most of those cases, if not all of them, can be traced to the um, hockey team outbreak. So I guess it's good in the sense that there aren't any additional cases popping up, meaning that Yale has successfully isolated those cases Unfortunately, that does make up a sizable portion of our results since August 1st. So just like, you know, frustrating that if this outbreak did not happen, we would have had about a third less overall cases. It's asked, are you ready for some tough questions? He said no. I just said no. He's going to the Thai park. Hello. Uh, grilled chicken? Chicken? Yes. Uh, white rice. White rice. White rice? Yeah. Uh, curry chicken? Curry chicken. Game uh, chicken? Yeah. And one more. And uh, the eggplant? Egg, eggplant, eh? Yes. Yes. Okay, she's on, right? Yep. I'll be back in her bed. Thank you. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yay. Just turn it back on. Yeah, yeah she's gonna probably see it. Um, it's totally not depressing at all to see all of our hard work of carving pumpkins getting destroyed. So just got dinner. I think it's a uh, chicken lo mein, edamame, a really nice smoothie actually, dessert and salad. Looks pretty good. Gonna enjoy it. Unfortunately, I came across a bug in my CSP set, so I am currently in Zoom office hours trying to get my ULA to debug it. Hopefully, I succeed. back as straight as possible and your heels have to stay on the ground you do want it you want to be great Okay, um, just finished a very spontaneous workout. We're probably gonna do that again sometime soon. So look forward to that. Right now I'm very sweaty, so I'm gonna take a shower. Good news is that an hour and a half of our showers, I um, finished my CSP set. I figured out my bugs, so that was great. So right now I finished my Chinese essay in the afternoon, I finished my stats P set. So we're looking pretty, uh, pretty free for the weekend. Through that, through his experiences with that. Because but he, he worked at an HPCU. All right, so it's Friday morning. 
about to go to breakfast for the fifth time this week so that makes it five times in a row so i'm pretty proud about that uh yeah just looking at the uh arrival pumpkins I just finished Korean. Gonna go have lunch with a friend at the sushi place. Okay, that does it for week 7 of quarantine at Yale. We saw a whole new assortment of breakfast, lunch, and dinner foods. Witnessed our poor pumpkins getting consumed by squirrels, had a spontaneous workout session, and much more. Since this week does mark the middle of the semester, I figured I'd take a few seconds to reflect on how it's going so far. Um, in terms of classes, I think that I've become used to taking them on Zoom. For better or for worse. Although there are definite drawbacks to online classes, there are actually some hidden benefits as well. For some lecture classes, I watch the recordings later at a faster speed instead, which saves a lot of time. And even in language seminars, the ability to mute myself allows me to practice pronouncing vocab without disrupting the class. Um, in terms of social life, I am very fortunate to be close to all of my sweetmates who I can interact normally with as a family unit, whether that being watching anime, eating dinner, or playing Fortnite in our suite. One drawback is that you really do have to make a conscious effort to meet up with friends outside of the people that you live with, so that's one thing to consider. And in terms of the bare necessities, food and shelter, the food has been pretty surprisingly solid and the housing conditions for the most part have been adequate as well as each student, including myself, is guaranteed a single. And in terms of how Yale is handling COVID-19, despite some clusters such as the hockey team outbreak, there haven't been signs of widespread community spread, which is really encouraging news to hear. I think that Yale's aggressive testing plan has already paid off and will continue to do so throughout the remainder of the semester and in the spring as well. All in all, I do not regret my decision to return as an on-campus student at Yale, but as always, other people's opinions are different, so I'm just speaking for myself. That being said, this week was the deadline for Yale students to decide whether they want to request on-campus housing for the spring, and needless to say, I have requested to stay on campus.
Anyways, I hope this video was interesting, informative, and perhaps entertaining. Make sure to continue to do your part to prevent the spread of COVID, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.